VC, how's everybody doing? Back on the couch today. Feels like a couch day after I got off. Got the hat on, got the glasses on for Mazzy. Hey, well, the least I can say, gave me a shout out today. Woke up, had a bunch of new subscribers for some odd reason. I figure somebody's been talking about me. I could feel my back of my neck getting red. Appreciate it. And uh, saying thanks for that. Got the glasses on my hat. Yes, I do wear glasses. Most of the time I just take them off because I'm getting to be an old fart and I really need bifocals to be able to read. I mean, I, can, I can't read with my glasses on, but I can't drive motorcycle or see anything without them and I don't want to wear bifocals. So I usually just take them off for this, but for this I'll put them on. Then I got the hat out. It's like a billion degrees here with 95% humidity, so it's not really hot weather here in the summertime in Kansas City, but... For this video, I'll make the exception. Pull out the belt more. This is gonna be a quick video. I have a contest. I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna call it contest. But it's gonna be super easy. You don't even have to make a video for this contest. You can if you want, but I don't. So, this is what the prize is gonna be. Now, I like the Beatles. They're okay. I'm just, I'm not a Beatles nut. I don't have to go out and have all their, their music. You know, if I had the Red Album, the Blue Album, you know, the, the year range albums, I'm perfectly okay with that. You know, I have, I have random albums here and there, but it's like, I have really no interest in collecting them all I, I like the beatles it's just you know there's other music i'd rather get and if i run across them i'll pick them up that's where i got this this is like the ultimate bootleg i mean flat out rip off <laughs> uh they sold these this is like the second series i guess i guess there was two of these i mean they flat out sold them in magazines and tv uh, and they're just ripped off songs from the Beatles. You know, it's their bootleg albums. Here, here's the back. These are all the songs that are in here. So this is what the, the, the winnings are going to be. Uh, the box is a little bit nicked up. I mean, but the records inside are in good shape. And there's four of them. Uh, which I, it, for the longest time I was like, what's going on? Because it starts at like side nine. But I, I guess this is volume two, so I don't know what songs you're missing on volume one. But anyway, it comes with uh, four F records. They're all in really good shape. I mean, there's like a couple little tiny marks on them, but... I found them in one of my favorite thrift stores. Uh, and I just bought it because it's kind of unique. I haven't seen them before. I knew about these, but... Beatles Volume 2 Stereo. Total ripoff of the Beatles. But hey, if you don't mind having a bootleg and you want this, I have a contest. It's going to be super easy. The contest... When I was growing up as a kid in rural Midwest, nowhere, small town, had 10 people in my graduating class. When we only had uh, three channels to pick from, one of the shows that I remember as a kid that I used to like to watch was Name That Tune. And that's what we're gonna do. I have a little clip of music. I've never actually talked about this artist in any of my videos, but I actually have a whole bunch of the records. And I would consider it one of the artists that anytime I see these records, I will buy them because I actually like the music and I like the artist. There's only one clue I'm gonna give right now. And if nobody can get it, we'll have to go until somebody does. But they act, this individual actually has something to do with the Beatles. The song has nothing to do with the Beatles. 
Um, but the individual responsible for the music has something to do with the Beatles. I'm just gonna give you a little clip. Um, and all you have to do is type down below who you think it is. That's it. You don't have to name the song because, well, this particular clip is used quite often in a lot of this individual's music. So I don't know what you tend to call this. It's like almost like a riff or a beat. Sometimes it's drums. Sometimes it's bass doing this exact same thing. Sometimes it's the bass and the drums in unison doing this, but it's basically a little snappy thing. And if I heard this, I would know instantly who it was. Some of you might know who it is. Some of you might have no clue. So it has something to do with the, the Beatles. Think cheesecake. The first person that puts their correct entry down below, I'll, I'll get with you and we'll get this out to you if, if you want it. Enjoy. Good luck. If nobody guesses it in a little while, I guess I'll have to put a little extended clip on here. So uh, it's it might be a little tough, but if you know this individual, it won't be tough at all. Good luck. Have a good night. Bye.